You are about to see a simple assault which occurred at the misnamed Pike Township Sportsmen's Association near the town of Ole in Berks County, Pennsylvania on October 18, 2009. The assault momentarily knocked the camera out. By the time it came back up, the assailant and his buds were simply walking away. There was no attempt to counter the assault. The assailant, Robert Butch Cavitz of Scranton, Pennsylvania, clearly intended to commit the assault. Butch Cavitz and his associates are pigeon shooters. The lowest kind of throw killer you'll find. So antics like this are more or less expected from these people. What is not expected is that someone should get away with an offense that is so well documented. Berks County District Attorney John Adams allows these illegal pigeon shoots, so the pigeon shooters have a sense of entitlement. They think they can get away with just about anything, and in Berks County, thanks to District Attorney Adams, they pretty much do. Oh, and I should mention that Berks County District Attorney John Adams has taken campaign donations from pigeon shooters. Now, Bobby Butch Cavus didn't cause any real damage. I know because I was the guy on the receiving end. Bobby's just a dried up old pigeon shooter trying to pretend that he and his fellow pigeon shooters are real men. But still, what Bobby did was illegal. The Pennsylvania State Police responded to my call about the assault. They reviewed this video documentation and did the right thing by citing Bobby Butch Cavitz. The citation was for a petty offense. There was no attempt to blow the thing up to anything but a petty offense. A man with any integrity at all would simply have pled guilty and that would have been the end of it. Naturally, Bobby Butch Cavitz, the pigeon shooter, pled not guilty. Trial was held in the courtroom of District Judge Victor M. Frederick. Judge Frederick saw the same video you are seeing right now. Nevertheless, Judge Frederick found Bobby Butch Cavitz not guilty. In his ruling, Judge Frederick admitted that Bobby Butch Cavitz was wrong but he said it didn't rise to the level of a criminal offense. <laughs> then things got really weird. Judge Frederick said that when Bobby Butch Cavitz approached me, I should have moved. Apparently, I was supposed to be able to read Bobby's mind. Judge Frederick was able to somehow rationalize to himself that my quietly standing a distance away from Bobby and his fellow thugs made me partly guilty. Of course, had our roles been reversed and had it been I who committed the assault on Bobby Butch Cavitz, there would have been a guilty verdict. If Butch Cavitz or anyone else committed this same assault on Judge Frederick, you'd better believe there would have been a guilty verdict. This is the so-called justice system in Pennsylvania, a state owned by the Gun Mafia, the National Rifle Association, which supports live pigeon shoots even though they clearly violate Pennsylvania humane laws. It is well known that those who abuse animals tend to also abuse humans. Pennsylvania demonstrates that those who tolerate injustices to animals also tolerate injustices to humans. If you oppose injustice, please go to pashame.com to see what you can do to help Pennsylvania's animals and to bring justice and dignity back to Pennsylvania. This is Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.